Hi guys, this is just a quick video to run through plotting in AutoCAD for those of you in Mac. I've noticed some of you in class are struggling because it's a little bit different from the PC one. So we'll just run through that quickly with you today. So first things first, you're working in model space down here and these are all your paper space layouts. Uh, you probably will only have one for now but we'll build on those later. So next to that is the four little squares, show all drawings. Let's just make a new layout. In general, if you're struggling and your layout hasn't been working, just scrap it and make a new one. Let's just call this 147 plan. Great, something you remember. Uh, double click on that and let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like a random page size and random viewport size. Not what we want at the moment, so we've got to fix a few things first. So come back down to those four squares, right click, edit page setup, uh, and this will come up. Usually when you first open it up, it'll look like this for you. Uh, this little right arrow down the bottom here will open up the rest of that dialog. So a few things we need to fix. So if yours is on A4, bring it back up to A3. We're on landscape. We're working at scale one is to one, but we are working in millimeters in Australia. And so we need to change this to one. There we go. Back to one is to one. Good. All right, A3, we're printing in monochrome. We want our line weights to all come out black and white. And our quality, we want to turn it up to maximum because we want the lines to be nice and sharp for printing. Uh, that is all. So click OK on that one. And we'll notice that the sheet has changed a little bit now. We've got a tiny little viewport down here. So grab on the handles of that. If you've got ortho turned on, Command L, it'll only stretch along the bottom, so Command L, if that's not working for you, will turn all through on and off. Okay, now that's open. Let's double click inside there. If we press Z space, E space, we'll bring all of your drawings to the front. Uh, and I'm just going to find the drawing one print, bring it roughly to the scale that you want it on your sheet. Double click outside of that to finish. Then I want to just highlight the edge. And that's going to show me what scale it is at the moment. It's a random viewport scale. Let's take that to 1 is to 100. Beautiful. And that's scaled exactly what we want. And so now we have a scaled drawing ready to plot in AutoCAD on our A3 sheet. Uh, some of you might want to create a different scale in AutoCAD. For example, uh, 1 is to 1000, something like that. So what you want to do is, again, highlight the edge of your sheet. Come down to the scale section, go edit scale list, uh, go down to where it would want to be. So if it's 1 to 1000, it would be under 1 is to 500. Click plus, enter in the name, which is 1 is to 1000. We're going to double click drawing units, we want to change to 1 is to 1000. So 1 paper equals 1000 drawing units. Click OK. Now let's test that. Highlight the edge. Change that to 1 is to 1000, should be tiny. Beautiful, there we go. So that's how you add a new scale in AutoCAD. So for example, if you're working on your site plan, you need a really big scale. Let's go back to 1 is to 100 now to plot. So just double click inside here, and if I press down on my scroll button, I can pan inside here without changing the scale of my sheet size. So just nice and careful, just set it out to where I want it to be on the sheet. Double click to finish. Um, and now it won't move around. Beautiful. And sometimes another trick for you as well is if you get stuck inside um, this paper space, and no matter how much you can't zoom back out, if you type in P space, we'll lock the page for you and we'll get you back out of there. It's a handy trick to remember, but often you're scalable, so your scale will be messed up. So just come back down to there, 1 is to 100. Double click outside of that, beautiful. We're now ready to plot. <clears throat> so if we press Command P, we'll bring out the plot dialog, beautiful. Just make sure your size of your paper is set to A3. One is to one, we're working in millimeters and we've got one equals one, beautiful. Now all you need to do is come down to PDF, save as PDF, and we're gonna, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop for now, test plan. Uh, you save it where you need to save it. And that should 
what our PDF. Yes, it has. Here we go. Test plan. Beautiful. Monochrome. It's on the right size layout. All the scales are working and all the line weights are working. Wonderful. So that is how we plot from a Mac. Uh, remember, if you have any questions, please ask in the class. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Cheers.